everybody, how are you, how are you? Yes, you are watching Inside Fallon, and my name is Wayne. And today, we are here at the Fallon Community Center, George Fry Recreation Building, you know, I mean, you, you guys know. Well, hello everybody, how are you, how are you? You are watching Inside Fallon. And my name is Wayne Robbins. We are here at the Fallon Community Center, better known as the George Fry Center for Arts and Recreation. Why? Because tonight, there's going to be a very special event going on. And I'm gonna sneak right over here so you can see what it is. The Chamber of Commerce in Fallon is going to be presenting their seventh annual Taste of Our Town. A lot of excitement, a lot of fun, all for a good cause to help support the Fallon Food Pantry. Let's go inside and see what this is all about. So come on, join me. My name is Wayne Robbins. As we go, Inside Fallon. Hey guys, how you doing? Good, how are you? Now I understand that there's a lot going on tonight and you two guys may have a lot to do with helping these restaurants get started. Is that true? Yeah. What's your name? Will. And you are? John. What are you going to be doing? We're just going to help the uh, restaurants bring in their stuff, help them set up and get anything that they need over the course of the evening. Two good handymen, huh? Yeah. Now I understand you guys are both part of the National Honor Society in Fallon yeah. at the high school? Yeah. Fantastic. Enjoy what you're doing and thanks for your help. All right, go to it. Thank, Thank you. you. Folks, we just have to give people credit when they do things for us, and those are two guys we got to get say hello to. Thank you. All right, folks, when we talk about getting ready for the taste of our town here, there's something very special going to go on just before the main crowd comes in. And you see that sign? Brooklyn, Seltzer Boys, Egg Creams. You see these two wonderful people right here? What's your names? So this is Leah. Hi. Leah. And I'm Alex. This is a family kind of a business, I mean, a history to this, right? Yeah, so we're a four-generation business. Four-generation business, incredible. We started out in 1953. You know, everybody in Fairmont has a case has a case of one of these in their basement someplace. I just want you to know that. And we can fix it. And you can fix it. That's very good to know. We can fix it. Now, the reason why I wanted to chat with you before it got too busy, of course, you're going to do something that's uniquely special in our world. Okay. What are you going to make? We're going to make some egg creams. <laughs> very, very important. Okay, now, they, yeah, tell me what's important and the steps. There's a certain way to make it. As you can see on the glass, you start with the Fox's You Bet syrup. It can only be Fox's You Bet. Okay. Then your whole milk. Right. Then you got your seltzer. And then it's got to be a special way of mixing it, right? Seltzer. So here's it go. Okay. You got the Fox's You Bet syrup. Gives you about two pumps up to that line. Two pumps. Maybe three pumps. Folks, Maybe I want four. you to know the only reason why I'm down here tonight is because these guys are here. That's it. We're gonna fill it up with some whole milk. And there's even a line on the glyphs for the milk too. There's a line for Very everything. Very important. And the most important part is the seltzer. The most important part is the seltzer. Nice and last like And the spoon technique. The spoon technique. You graze the seltzer ah. off the spoon, which creates that white foamy head. Oh yes! And then you mix it and you get a Here it is. Brooklyn <laughs> egg cream. Now, why do you have to use authentic seltzer? You have to use you have authentic, authentic seltzer because right? it's the real deal. It's got the most bite, it's got the most fizz, it's got the best taste. We triple filter our seltzer through sand charcoal and paper, which is New York City tap water is already clean, but triple filtration system that we have uh, makes it seltzer much crisper, much cleaner. You realize that there's a million people here tonight that are coming, besides the culinary delights that they're gonna walk around and find, Knowing that you're going to be in here, we're ready. You're ready. I know. We're ready you're. to go. Thank you so much for actually doing this for us, folks. Yeah, I have, have a feeling I'm going to probably sack. Hold that up. This is for you. I'm going to try. I just want you to hold it up right in front of you so you can see it. I'm going to have a special straw. Both of you, welcome to this wonderful. This is your first time here at the Fairmont. Today's first time. Yeah. I hope to see you for thousands of years to come. <laughs> Thank you. And folks, I'm going to see if I can do a magic act and make that disappear. Stay with me. Don't go away. Yeah. All right, folks. We have. Hi. Some of the best culinary delights in Fairlawn. If you haven't been to any one of these places, I just passed the bakery and ice cream shop. This is the luncheonette right now. And I'm gonna be talking to these two fabulous people. Introduce yourself, say hi to everybody. Hi, I'm Pamela Stella. Diana Stella. And we own Benny's Luncheonette and Benny's Bakery in Fairlawn. I want you to know my culinary desires. I've been satisfied by what you two guys have. Thank you. Thank you for being down here this year. How do you feel about being part of Taste of Our Town? Uh, we always are involved with everything with the town, and we love to be a part of your stories and your shows, and just 
we love Fairlawn. We love to be a part of the community. I should make you my co-host, I think. <laughs> and Diana, your thoughts? Um, Always yeah. the same thing, but I want to hear it from you. Come on, say yeah, something. Yeah, no, we love being a part of the town. We um, love Fairlawn. It's a big town, and we want to get to know other people in the town. Like I, mu I must say that some of the creations I see that you make on both the, the Lunch and It and the Ice Cream Baking she Shop are phenomenal. Talented. Yeah. Unbelievable. No, I know you went to like 5,000 culinary schools. <laughs> you probably stay up all night trying to come up with the new ideas. She but does. a tip of my hat to you, basically for being here tonight and helping sponsor and help out the food pantry. Yeah. There is a bottom line to this, and I want to thank yeah. you very much for doing that. Absolutely. And I'm going to, I want to swing over here because these people are going to be helping you out. These I just want to get, this is our main crew. This is, this is the main crew of guys. I just want to say hi, thank you. Hello. And I want to make sure that you don't eat too much before the general public comes in. <laughs> Give me, everybody get over here. Let me get a good shot with this camera too. This is, this All right. Is, this is, this is the family. This is the family. Thank you for being here, for supporting the food pantry. Thank, Thank you. you. We love you, Wayne. And here is our very first customer today. Hello. We're just going to watch everybody come in. Okay. Let's go clean the table. Good evening, Mr. Mayor. How are you? Great, Wayne. How are you doing tonight? Uh, this is incredible. They, they just opened the doors. The people are streaming into our taste of our town. Your thoughts about this wonderful occasion? Another great night put on by the Chamber of Commerce. I think they have close to 30 restaurants here yes. tonight. And, uh, you know, over 200 people are going to attend. And all the proceeds are going to go to the uh, food pantry. So I want to I want to thank Jack Donahue, the president of the chamber, and all the chamber members, and Adele Baladementi, the executive director, for doing such a great job and donating this to such a worthy cause. It's wonderful the way the community comes together, and I think this is the seventh year, if I'm not mistaken, that they're doing it this way. Yeah. And we're here at the community center, which is involved with a lot of great activities. And I'm going to make one suggestion, and I never really do this. Okay. There's some place here you can get a chocolate egg cream. Now, I'm not sure if you grew up with chocolate egg creams or not. Of course I did at Gorwin's. Well, yes. <laughs> and Jay's Sweet Shop. Jay's right? Sweet Shop. But it's the Bronx Bookdale guys. It's the family, the fifth generation. you got to go over there and check it out. Okay. But a tip of my hat to you for always being part of this wonderful occasion. Go enjoy the wonderful meals, and uh, I'll hook up with you later on. All right, pal. Nice Take to care, see you, Mayor. Thank you. Dana, how are you? Hi, Dean. I'm great. How are you? I'm always used to seeing you at the shop right in River Road, but here you are out of our taste of our I town. Know. What makes you come here tonight? Get involved. We're here tonight representing ShopRite. We have some better for you dishes here, showcasing all the great things that we have at ShopRite. Now, if I remember correctly, the concept is not to judge, but to just inform and educate people about being healthy, right? Absolutely, yep. So under that guise, what are you serving? Nice and well, what is this? We have a faro salad featuring some fresh citrus. We have some zested orange and lemon, um, some fennel on top, as you can see, spinach, chickpeas, just some really nice, fresh winter flavors. Thank you for doing what you do for the town. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting us here. And thank you for helping out because you're here tonight, so you're on camera. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the night. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we're just going to walk around here, folks. Everybody's getting themselves together here. Folks, we can't have an event like this without having the Dutch House Gang be part of it. And there they are! <laughs> the Dutch House Gang. How are you? Good. Good, good to, nice see you. to see you. Uh, Dave, thank you so much for being a part of this again. How do you feel about being here tonight? It's always a great event, and each year it seems to be getting bigger and bigger. It's great. And even though you have lucky number 13 behind you, we're very thankful that what you do, not only here, but throughout the whole community of Fairmont all the time. Thank I you. can't wait for another dog puppy show. I know. We're Coming up this summer? We'll see. It? We'll see. We hope so. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Okay. And folks, here we have the, uh, the crew from the Empress Diner. They're serving us something very special. John, tell me what you're serving. Wait, let me come over there. Let me sneak in here if I may for a second. That I can have. John, what's your meals today? What are you serving? Today we're serving chicken scarpiello, we're serving a couple Greek dishes, moussaka and a bastichio. Uh -huh. We both have bechamel, one comes with noodles and chopped meat, the other one has eggplant and chopped meat. 
And we have two fabulous assistant chefs today. Thank and you folks, here we have Oceanos doing their incredible serving. We have Chef Pete and Nick here. They're doing their best. Look at them. Gentlemen, how are you today, all right? Wonderful, wonderful. You guys are looking fine. I'm we good. Got a nice I'm, I'm good Orzo. for Enjoy. our fans here. Enjoy everything. Thank you for coming. Take small bites yes. now, small bites. <laughs> how are you, Councilman? I'm doing well. Are you so? dropping your food? No, no. What are you doing? Make sure to catch everything. Can't I know let you want to eat. Just tell me how you feel about being here tonight. It's amazing. It seems like it grows in numbers every year. I was uh, waiting online for a uh, for a good while, which is good to see. It's all going to a great cause. So just happy that the program just keeps growing and growing. Well, thank you for everything that you do for our community. Don't talk to me. Go eat some food. Oh, I will. Thanks, thank mate. you very much. Thank you. Davia, Bill, good to see you. how are you, sir? Very good. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. What do you got here? Just for me to know. Yeah, sausage Wellington. Sausage yeah. Wellington? Eggplant Wellington. <laughs> so is it true you stayed up all night making this? Yes, I did. <laughs> I understand that. Thank you both for being involved. Thank you, Davis, for being part of this, too. Well, thank you. Well, so here's the deal. After they wait online for a little while to get all their fabulous little culinary delights, they're going to end up sitting down at one of these tables over here. And the trick is not to sit down too long so you can actually get up and go back. And where are they going back to? Let me show you. Do that uh, you get paid by the uh, person you speak to? Is that how, how it works? I get paid by the chicken wing. You get That's paid my by salary. The wing. <laughs> yeah. You should see what Lucky's pays me. I can understand that. Tip of my hat to you guys. Fail on TV, do some great work. So give me a wave. Hey, well, you're Very good. Now talk to this guy over here. All right, this is just one of our wonderful places in Fairland that's been here for about four to five thousand years now. I'm not quite sure what they have up here, but I'm sure it's all kosher and delicious. Gwen, how are you? What's your name? My name is Roberta. Fantastic. How do you both feel about being here? I love it. I'm very excited. You're also right. supporting a great cause in town, too. And we hope we the get invited country. next year. I'm sure you will. And all the things that you've been part of Fairlawn's well, history so for, oh, four or 5,000 years, something like that. Yeah, right, thank you. Great seeing you, and thank you for thank being you. here tonight. Right, thank you. Okay, P-Tax, okay. you're fabulous folks. All right, folks, here's another place that's been in our community for a long time. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Oh, two-part harmony. I like that. <laughs> How do you feel about being here tonight? Very excited. Very yeah. excited. Great cause. Lots of people. Great energy. And great food. Thank you for doing what you're doing, and the food pantry thanks you also. Thank Thanks very much, both of you. Thanks. Stu, I just have to say hi to you. What do you do behind the counter? I am serving for Rose's Place on Broadway, oh, Lebanese cuisine. How do you feel about that? I am very happy to do it. Actually, I've been there once on one of their entertainment nights, and I saw some of the great dancing. It's a fabulous place. I had never been in there. It's right across from my office, but uh, everybody well, that goes You're going to have to walk across the street and do it. I do. And I took my hat to everybody from the chamber, especially yourself as well. This is a great event that's going on today. It is a great event. For the Thank right you very people. much, Lou. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, Lou. I got this one doctor group. They got everybody. And I just want you to know that right behind the counter, the guitar, say hi to everybody. Hello, Wayne. How are you? Hello, Fairlawn. So what are you doing? Who, who, who's booth you manning here? I am serving for Mezzanote uh, on Saddle River Road. We're yes. serving some gnocchi with chicken today. Folks, we we talk about specials, and you can tell this is good. It's all gone. Exactly. Time to move on to plate number two. Tip of my hat to the chamber and you guys for helping out and making this all work. Thank, Thank you very you, much. Good Thank you. you. Continue to. Watch your face when you take a oh. sip of that. Come on. Huh? Delicious. Is that a hit the spot? Yeah. Oh, of course. All right. I need Nelson. Nelson, I need more. Uh, 
right, Diana? This is a very important question. How many scoops do you think you scooped out so far? <laughs> A hundred? Maybe over. Because I think, I, think I put a hundred spoons in here. And you put a hundred yeah, spoons? I put a hundred spoons That's how we know. And this is all homemade ice cream, by the way, folks. All I want you to know that. Get that one. She stayed up all night doing this. That's why we love them both. Fantastic. Thank you. So how are you holding up? You okay? Oh, we're doing fine. Thank, you for, be, thank you for being here. Thank you. Giovanni's, of course. Can she tell me her story for a second? Is that okay? Yeah. No, wait. So it involves Dana. Okay, tell me. Okay, so. Hi, I just told. Hi, I'm Liz from the food pantry, and I'm not talking about the food pantry. I'm talking about that lovely girl there, Dana from Shoprite. Stand next to her for a second. Okay, come here. Oh, now, now so, talk to me. Now talk Dana to me. from Shoprite went to Radburn School, and she just happened to speak to um, my son's class, and she was talking to them about sugar. And my son, Sugar, can you say Sugar. That word in front of her? yeah, I've, I've learned. <laughs> and my nine-year-old boy came home, and he started looking at his sugar grams that he eats. He's starting to read the label. And it was a lot, and he decided that we were going to make some changes. And one of the things he decided he was going to change is no more juice. He was going to switch to flavored water to get rid of some of that sugar. And um, he's little That's by incredible. little. Isn't that great? Dana, a success story. How does that make you feel? <laughs> so I told her she made my night. It's she made so your night, right? Isn't that great? To hear. Well, look, while I have you here, let me just quickly say that thank you for, of course, being part of this organization and yeah. that's going on with the chain also. That bottom line, the food pantry, your thoughts about that? Oh, well, uh, right my here. food pantry. This is my favorite event of the year. Look at all these people who come out and um, the chamber is so good to us. They, they raise so much money for us and we use it to, you know, give back and help those people in the community who need it. Well, this is the first time I'm talking to you here, not sitting at the table stuffing your face. Because my food is here. Oh, well, your food is there. <laughs> I haven't here. gotten back to the table yet. All right, stand next to each other. I want to say goodbye to my two favorite girls. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Carol Wagner, how are you? Hello, Wayne. How Good to see you. Doing? Good to see you. And we want to let everybody know that you're Carol Wagner from the health department. That's right. And we are here tonight at the Taste of Our Town. You had to show up a little bit earlier to do what? What did you have to check out tonight? Nice little out. Well, I was walking around to check all the food vendors, see what's on the menu. So you had to check the food they were serving. Making sure that all the hot food was hot. Okay. And all the food was cold. Very good. I'm assuming and hoping that we found no violations here. No violations. Excellent. Everybody was wearing their gloves, too. Wearing their gloves, right? Wearing the gloves. And speaking of wearing gloves, what a perfect segue that is, I know. You're holding something in your hands that I want to touch base on real fast. Hold that sign up for a second. Hold it up. Higher. Right there. The Green Fair. Okay, you got 30 seconds to tell me about the Green Fair. The Green Fair. It's March 9th. Next week, we're having the Green Fair. Where? It right here in the Fairlawn Community Center gym. What time? At 6 o'clock in the evening through 9 o'clock. And we're going to have a couple of booths set up to teach people how to be green for the environment, right. for their home, for school, things Gardening, like that. Gardening, composting. Fantastic. Protecting the water and the air. Are you going to be here that night too? What's that? Are you going to be here that night? I'll be here that night. Are you going to wear something green? I guess so. You better. <laughs> Thank you for doing everything that you do too. Enjoy tonight for a change. Have a good time. Thank you. The term is called tradition. Absolutely. And without you and this guy over here, we wouldn't be happy with what we have. Thank you for everything that you're doing. And folks, just in case you missed my picture, this is a special occasion, culinary delight. The pizza sock. There you go. There you go. So give me a wave. Hey, Wayne. Thank you. I, I, I got my flush card. Councilwoman Swain, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Fantastic. Speak up so I can hear you. I mean, this is a very special occasion. The Chamber's 7th, an 7th Annual Taste of Our Town. And I can never complete a show without you being part of it. Your thoughts about being here tonight? Well, 
The reason you can't hear me is because it is so crowded tonight. Which this, this is the biggest crowd we have ever had. I have been here every single year, and I have never seen so many people here, which means a lot of money for the food pantry. So that's As a matter great. of fact, I think we hit record numbers with the number of restaurants involved, too, almost 30. Yes. Which was like almost double, I think, from the last couple of years. But you're right, there is a bottom line here, and it's the food pantry. Well, let's for a moment talk about some culinary delights. I saw you have at least five empty plates so far. <laughs> I want to know how you feel about those things. How, how do you feel about the food here? The food is great. Isn't it nice? I tasted some really delicious and healthy plates Yes, delicious of food. and healthy. That's very true. Yes. yes. Well, you can't do, I can't do a show without having to be a part of it. Once again, thank you for everything. And if you haven't tried it, just go run around and see some more stuff. I will. By the way, did you have the chocolate egg cream? Yeah. Oh, in the night with the chocolate egg cream. I love those guys. Fantastic. Thank you, Councilman. Thank, Thank you. you. Since I'm getting ready to wrap up another wonderful, great event, I can never do it without my special closing. And here he is right now. Hello, I'm Cornell Christensen. I've been judge here at Taste of the Town for this is my seventh year. And I wish to announce the winning dishes from these 20 restaurants. In number five, the Insira ShopRite. Faro salad. Number four, the Serena stuffed mussels. Number three, the staged chicken. Number two, Rose's Place final Lebanese chicken. And a number one, the winner of tonight, Oceana's grilled shrimp. Thank That's you, Cornell. Thank you, Cornell. And once again, folks, this is an independent producer with his own particular list. And here's our winners. Thank you both for being part of Fair Lawn, and congratulations thank on Cornell. Thank, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, um, ladies and gentlemen, if I can have your attention for just a few minutes. My name is Jack Donahue. Woo! Yeah. Who? Jack Donahue. Um, I'm the current president of the Chamber of Commerce. Woo! And first and foremost, I'm here to thank you all for making this event such a great success. We, uh, we've been doing this now for seven years. It's grown every year. I'm, I'm happy to report that this year, Adela worked above and beyond our expectations with a goal to really turn this into an international flavor. Adele! Event. Uh, here you go. Thanks. We're talking all about it. No, put that down. She's she sitting in the bottom. We love Adele. She's sitting in the bottom. Give me that. As you can see, we've got, rather than just having a couple of delis and a couple of pizza parlors, Adele's really gone above and beyond, and we have, uh, we have some wonderful food from all corners of the world. We've got some Asian food, we've got some Turkish, no, we don't have Turkish food. We have some, um, some Lebanese food. We got some people from Brooklyn. We got everybody here. Um, and, and we're really, really pleased. This year, more than ever, in years past, we've had up to 16 or 18 different restaurants represented. And this year, we've got 27 restaurants here. So Adele, thank you so much for your hard work. Uh, an event like this takes so much more than you would ever think. I have some people I want to thank. Volunteers. who come out to help us. I'm going to wander a little bit, gentlemen, if you don't mind. I'll come back in a minute. Um, I'm going to wander here. I have some people I want to thank. It's like an angry gentleman. These people are here. They're working hard.
Open this year. Uh, she's wandering around the room. Well, there you go. She's taking up a collection for the food pantry. As you know, our goal tonight is not only to serve a wonderful, um, a wonderful meal to everybody, but the main thrust of why we're here is to raise funds for our food pantry here in town. This night would not have happened in my mind, and I know a lot of people are part of it, but Adele, you are a key person. <laughs> Say hi Thanks, to everybody. Wayne. Hi, everybody. Tell everybody your name and what you do. I'm Adele Battalamenti, Executive Director of the Fair and Lawn Chamber of Commerce. And and before this we is... talk about tonight, I just want to know that we have someone that's helped out tonight. This What's your name? my son, Joe. I'm Joe Battalamenti. He's with me all day today. He stayed here with me since 1230 this afternoon. Wow. We set up the room. We worked out all the restaurants. We, he set up all the racks. He did a lot. And I, I have to tell you, it wouldn't have been complete if he wasn't here with me because I wouldn't have been able to do it. Well, thank you for doing that, and you, thank you for doing all this. How do you this feel now? Awesome. The night is winding down. It's wonderful. We had the best crowd I've ever seen. Wonderful. Food-wise, vendor-wise, yep. everything-wise. Your yep. thoughts right now? I am so happy and so thankful to everybody. There's Eddie and Angela from Family Affair. Thank you. Hi. Thank, thank you, guys. You. Thank, no you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. It's an awesome job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, I'm so happy because we have uh, vendors here. 26 vendors came out yeah. from town, as well as Brooklyn Seltzer Boys with uh, egg creams, original egg creams. I watched them. I grew up with chocolate egg creams. Yeah. His grandfather delivered to my house wow. in Fairlawn. And I, in my basement, I had the seltzer awesome? bottles and the original wooden box. Yes. And he said he could restore them. Wow. That's a great find. And awesome. they searched you out, huh? They did. That's they fantastic did. They news. called us because somebody in the chamber is uh, their Steve. uncle or something. Steve Weinstein. Yes, Weinsberg. Steve Weinstein. That's right. Right, right. This so is So I'm very thankful, and the food pantry will be thankful. March uh, 15 will be our monthly meeting we'll hosted by again. the Children's Aid and Ooh. Family Services, okay. 2208, Route 208 South. And we'll be there, and we'll present our check to the food pantry on that day. So if anybody would like to come out to that meeting, that'd be awesome. But I want to say thank you to all the vendors, all the guests. We sold out at, um, uh, there were over 250 tickets sold tonight. Wow. So thank you, everyone. I really appreciate it. And uh, well, we'll I see thank you next you. year. And I want to thank you for your time and energy. Thank this you, is your second year doing it. Yes. Both successful. Many more to come. Yes. Especially to my hat to the film and shape in general. Thanks, Wayne. Now go have dessert. Thank you. Nice meeting you, too. There you have it, folks. The seventh annual Taste of Our Town, sponsored by the Fairlawn Chamber of Commerce. A tip of my hat to all the participating restaurants. We've had, I think, almost 30, and certainly to all our friends and neighbors who decided to come out tonight and help sponsor the food pantry. It's a wonderful cause, a wonderful event. And we want to thank everybody again here also at the community center. So look for me. I'll be coming around your neck of the woods real soon. Until we meet again, my name is Wayne Robbins. We'll see you next time inside Fairlawn.